welcome the ladies and gentlemen um i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the full moon for the air sign people remember air sign people to use the link in order to see your specific signs and remember um, there is a extended reading okay so this is um, going to be good wow all right air sign people let's go in your full moon first um let's look at the energies together then we are going to be going deeper in the reading so as usual we have the sun at the top and at the bottom is the moon sign so if you were born 6 a.m to 6 p.m you're at the top at the bottom you see the energy of the moon that's your moon uh, sign all right so um what we're seeing here is that you are going to be coming in dealing with the knight of uh, um wands whether this knight of wands whether it's a woman or a man is a taurus virgo or a capricorn person you're coming in dealing with this person so be aware of this um then um you're going out dealing with a fire sign person where they're going to be recognizing some sort of a deceptive play with a fire sign person so um that is uh, really really obvious uh, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that um, a lot of you are dealing with these young people between the age of 18 and 45. One is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The other one is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They are going to be finding out uh, some sort of uh, um, deceptiveness of this person, or these people, okay? So most of your energies are in the reverse because it's as if things are coming out truths are coming out people are recognizing what was happening what was transpiring people are now recognizing uh, what people were doing and how um people have created a whole lot of disastrous situation so you um air sign people are going to be recognizing um this and you're going to be trying to figure it out so for sun sign people you're dealing with a a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, they're recognizing who this person is, the truth of this person. It could be a Capricorn and the secret of this Capricorn and how this Capricorn has created a whole lot of a deceptive situation in your world. It could be a lawyer or a doctor some of you could be dealing with and is going to be recognizing the deceptive play of this person and how they have created a whole lot of issue. And created a whole lot of problems for a lot of you air sign people. And you're going to be recognizing this person is between the age of 18 and 45. Then we are seeing the Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius person. They're now recognizing the truth of this person, who this person is and what this person have done. Then I see um the energy of the star and information is going to be coming out uh, showing up a whole lot of situation that has been transpiring i see a lot of you are standing your ground standing your grounds in order to make sure and recognize uh, what was happening what was transpiring and how these people could have created a whole lot of issue and I see that you are going to be recognizing this and it's going to bring in some sort of a stop or stability to a situation that was happening and transpiring. So be aware of this. So, okay, um, let's go in the, this reading and we are going to be looking first at the Aquarians. So, so Aquarians, let's look and see what is happening, what is transpiring um to you aquarians so we see merriment is coming up so a lot of you aquarians whatever that was happening and transpiring you are going to be overcoming a taurus virgo or a capricorn person this is going to be good then i see a whole lot of money is going to be returned and the wheel of fortune is returning a whole lot of money to you aquarians and that is going to be good I see some sort of an investigation where some of you could be dealing with police or legal authorities. 
that is going to be transpiring in the third week. In the fourth week, I see a tower moment is coming in on some sort of a disruptiveness, uh, what a fire sign person have done. A tower moment is coming up for a fire sign person. This person is between the ages of 18 and 45, uh, and I've created a whole lot of uh, um, problems, issues, situation, and I see that some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for this person because they have recognized what this person have done. So this is really, really, really um, good for you Aquarians. This is uh, absolutely good because what is transpiring in the first week is that in the first week, some sort of a legal issue you're going to be overcoming and resolving what a um, young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have done. And you're going to be um, healing the situation and resolving the situation and um, understanding um, that you have brought uh, some sort of a dishonest situation to an end and this is going to be good. Then we're looking at the second week. Money is going to be returning to you. I see you're standing to your ground and making sure that this money return to you or return to whoever it was for. We're going to be looking at that in order to resolve and see who this money was for. And it's, it's going to be returning to you. Then I see in the fourth week, uh, in the third week, uh, um, secrets are coming out about um, civil servants, a whole lot of secrets about civil servants, a whole lot of secrets about taxes, a whole lot of secrets about um, people in civil servants. So um, think about all the civil servants, police, um, social workers, all of that, a whole lot of secrets that they have and they were keeping is now coming to an end and people are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a corruption and you could be um, a part of it or was connected. Then I see misfortune is coming up uh, and um, for a fire sign person, whoever this fire sign person is, misfortune is here for this fire sign person. They are now recognizing what a fire sign person have done and they're going to be trying um, to recreate uh, um, the deceptive play of this fire sign person in order to bring some sort of a balance in the world of a lot of you because of a fire sign person, I've created a whole lot of issue. So we're going to be looking at the sun sign people. So in the first week um, with the sun sign people, I see truths is coming out about a lawyer. This lawyer could have been a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. It could be for some of you, your mother and your sister or brother that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. I see the energy of the mother. I see a lot of you are recognizing that your mother had put up with this person for too much of a long time and they, their moment is now here. The energy of the devil is here. They're re recognizing that a Libran has been very, very deceptive. Um, they recognize that a lawsuit, um, there was a lot of criminality. There was a lot of people and the situation that was happening around some of you. And they're recognizing uh, something about a Libran and you're going to be really successfully overcoming this Libran woman and this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman that has created a whole other issue. Now, ladies, I hope that this is not you. Um, this is coming up as a Libran lady, but it could be you ladies recognizing something about your child that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and the problem that this child has created. Then we're looking at the second week. A whole lot of money is going to be returning um, to a lot of you. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, your wishes and dream is going to be coming through where a whole lot of money is going to be returning to you and is going to be bringing back uh, financial stability for a whole lot of you. And this is going to be really positive. Then we are looking at the third week. The third week, I see people in authority is recognizing some sort of a deceptive play, some sort of a corruptcy and this deceptive play that was created and how people were taking advantage of a system or taking advantage of some sort of a loophole and they're recognizing what was happening and transpiring and I see truth is going to be coming out. Now, the energy of worries is going to be over. Whoever was worried 
about a situation that was transpiring. This virus is now going to be over because they are recognizing a whole lot of, uh, um, um, you know, play that was created and how people had uh, a play out a situation. And now they're recognizing what these people have done and it's definitely creating some sort of a balance in order to resolve a whole lot of issues that was going on so a wonderful alignment of energies is going to be coming in a lot of you your worries is going to be over a lot of you that has lost a whole lot of money that was money is going to be returning they're going to be recognizing that a libran and a taurus were a capricorn was very very deceptive and some of you um who have kids that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and a Libran, they're going to, you're going to be recognizing that your kids or this child and their friends have created a whole criminal activity and people are going to be recognizing what they have done and how they have created a whole lot of problems. Um and uh, I see that some of you ladies might become involved in this problem and this situation. So as you come to this end of this full moon, your worries is going to be over. It is good to become a member. Take the medium, the medium reading, because that's where you are going to be picking up the full moon um, with the medium reading. I want to say to each and every person, um, please become a member. Join because there is so much extended reading and my readings are timeless. So if you're having a problems and um, my reading comes up, uh, go pick it up because that's where you're going to be receiving the answer. All right, we're moving on to the moon sign people. Let's check out the moon sign people. I see a tower moment is coming down for a Leo. Whether this Leo is and whatever is transpiring, a Leo between the age of 18 and 45, a tower moment is coming down for this Leo. They have recognized what this Leo have done and how this Leo have created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issue. And they're now um, seeing what this Leo have done and how this Leo have created a lot of problems. And uh, um, finally, a lot of you are going to be recognizing the, the horrible play that this Leo did. And, they're, and you're going to be bringing down a tower moment on this Leo. For some of you, is your child that you're going to be recognizing that this Leo, it could be your child or your partner or um, or a family member or a friend, but a huge tower moment is coming down for this person because of some sort of a deceptive play that this person has carried out. So I see um, a whole lot of you, your worries is going to be over. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in. Um, some sort of a news about your financial stability. Um, you were worried whether or not a situation was going to be going your way. Um, if uh, you were looking for financial help or so, yes, it is. So that is going to be good. Then we see um, some sort of a information is coming out, the Knight of Swords. Um, so you um, men could be having some sort of an issue um, with uh, um, authority. You men, maybe you got connected with some sort of a corruptcy and they're going to be finding out. So men between the age of 18 and 45, um, you could have been caught up in some sort of a corruptcy. And I see the authority is investigating you men. So men, be aware of this because it is definitely coming up. Then I see the five of swords twice. You, The five of swords is the worries is now going to be over. Money is going to be returning. Some sort of an unexpected situation that was created. I see money is now going to be returning. A lot of you were worried about a whole lot of money that was lost. And you're going to be um, recognizing that this money is definitely, definitely going to be returning. And this is really, really going to be good because a lot of you are going to be understanding what was going on, what was transpiring and how people had stolen from you and took from you and drained you of your financial and this money is going to be uh, coming back. So people could be paying you back. Some sort of uh, outstanding debt is going to be paid back and this is good. You end um, this full moon with a wonderful, wonderful energy um, 
ladies and gentlemen, this is a powerful energy, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, um, my excuses. So the energy of the Ten of Pentacles is that you are going to be happily financially stable. Um, you are going to be recognizing um, that um, the, 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 the worries, the situation, the issues, the problems that you were going through, you're going to be recognizing and, and, and realizing that uh, you have uh, come through the situation in a powerful way because you have overcome these people and these situations that was transpiring. And I see your financial stability is going to be good. And this is uh, what the first full moon brings you. So enjoy the energies and be aware um, that sometimes things is created in our world for us uh, to um, awaken and open up and understand where we are and what we're doing in order to resolve some sort of an issue and problem. But um, you're coming out, you moon sign people are coming out very, very um, strong um, and is going to be creating a lot of wonderful positive energy for yourself and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous okay so congratulations remember to share 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 this video um go and check out the extended um just share these videos go and check out the extended i am saying namaste um gemini's and librans um you are look for where the, the timestamp is and i see you guys next time now welcome 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 um gemini's wow all right gemini's let's see what is going to be coming out for you gemini's please remember to like and share these readings and thumbs up like share and thumbs up these readings gemini's let's go in and see what is going to be coming up um Wait, you guys, what is going to be coming up? Because we know what your energies are. And let's see what is going to be um, coming up. Okay. What is going to be coming up with you, Gemini? So, so I see um, abundance is coming up for you, um, Gemini. So you were worried about your financial stability, but... It is going to be resolved and if the money is going to be returned. So your worries is going to be over and you're going to be having a new start. A lot of you who have a child with an, uh, um, an Aries, you're a Sagittarius. I see um, that uh, you're going to be having some sort of a legal issue. So if you had a child um, or a fire sign person have a child for you, there is going to be some sort of a legal issue. If you have a child that is in fire sign, there is some legal issue that is going to be coming up for this child. Then I see some of you are standing your grounds and you are going to be successful in the third week. A lot of you Geminis are standing your grounds and success is going to be coming out for you in the third week. I see a message is going to be coming in, um, some sort of a secrecy um, that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn was holding. Their secret is now out. So whoever this person is, is between the age of 18 and 45. And whatever the secret is that this person was holding, I see that it is going to be coming out. It is uh, going to be coming out and uh, you're going to be finding out uh, the secrecy of this person and how this person has created a lot of problems. It's not the first time. So for some of you, it could be your partner. Some of you is your sister or brother. Um, family members, some of you is a friend, but this person is a Capricorn. This person is definitely a Capricorn. For some of you, it's definitely a Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45. So I see um, a lot of you who were worried, the worries is going to be over in the first week. Um, you are going to be receiving some sort of a financial abundance. Um, then we see whoever have a a child with uh, Aries or Sagittarius, you're going to be having some sort of a legal problem. And this person is going to be having legal problem, having some sort of a new start. So be aware. A lot of you really stand your ground and is going to be successfully overcoming a situation finally. And it's going to be creating a, a um, positive alignment of energy for yourself and your family and people around you because of some sort of a 
um, outside influences that was affecting your life in a very horrible way. I always love your readings, Gemini. So. Really love your readings, Gemini's. Wonderful. So let's look at the sun, Gemini's, what is transpiring. I see an offer is going to be coming to you, sun, Gemini. So if you were looking for a job or extra job or some sort of a financial help, it is going to be coming in. So worries with your financial stability, money, and that sort of a thing that you, Gemini, came in um, this full moon being worried about, it is going to be resolved. Always go check out the week, the monthly readings to um, balance out what is coming out in uh, these week for you. So some sort of an unexpected um, offer of uh, um, um, money is going to be coming in for you, Gemini. So they have resolved and seen um, some sort of a horrible situation that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man have created. They are now recognizing that this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man has created a whole lot of problems by accessing and uh, um, affecting um, the flow, the financial flow. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Is this your partner? Is this your father? Is this a businessman? A very deceptive businessman whoever this businessman is and was, and they're going to be recognizing who this person is. For some of you, it could have been your boss that has created problems where they fired you for no reason. And now I see they have to compensate and pay you a lot. The three of pentacles is here. Um, so a lot of you could be dealing with a, um, a Capricorn man, whoever this Capricorn man is and whatever is transpiring. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that this man is a, um, the problem for your pro your situation, and it could be um, that this Capricorn man is a your child's father, and uh, um, they're going to be recognized that um, this Capricorn man um, could have had some sort of an outside child with a fire sign person, and this fire sign person have used your information in order to um, get to a country, and they're going to be recognizing the deceptive play of the spy sign person and they and this um uh, capricorn man is going to be in some sort of a problem because they're going to be recognized that this capricorn man must have been the one who gave uh, this person the information so a lot is coming out and a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of a problem with your child's father but i see money is going to be coming in and this is going to be good then I see the energy of a new start is going to be coming in for you, um, Geminis, you Geminis, that uh, especially women who were hoping for some sort of a situation to be over and a new start to come in. It is definitely, definitely going to be transparent. There is no question about this. You're recognizing and you're seeing that is, is definitely going to be transparent for you and this is going to be good. So women... That was looking for a new start. Women who were looking to create some sort of a new business. Yes, it is going to be happening. The fourth week is the energy of the moon. Some sort of a secrecy and things that you were not aware of. And I see that some information came out and you're going to be making a decision to make some sort of a changes in your life. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely good. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, there was on, you know, secrecy about a cancer. A lot of you who were in a relationship with a cancer, you're going to be recognizing a whole lot of information about a cancer is going to be coming out and you're going to be making a decision to end this relationship with this person or this marriage or this friendship or this business partner. Or you're going to be canceling their contract because you recognize that this person is a not very honest and you're going to be ending their contract because you recognize what this person have done so i see a lot of you gemini's is really um taking the rain back in your life that someone was raining on your parade and you're going to be um like really ending this and and having a whole lot of secrets behind your back 
and you're going to be ending it and decide no more, no more. I'm going to be balancing out the situation and ending this, moving out of this full moon, releasing myself from these people and these situation. And this is going to be good. Then I see a new start is going to be coming up for you, moon sign people. So we're moving on to the moon sign people and moon sign people. Um, you Gemini's between the age of a, um, that was born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Some sort of a new start, some sort of a news is coming in. A letter is going to be coming in. Something that uh, you should have received, uh, um, a long time ago and it did not come in. I see this is going to be returning to you and giving you a new start in order for you to balance out and facilitate some sort of a situation moving forward. So they are going to be recognizing that a young Taurus, very very Capricorn person, have a, um, intercept and took a letter that was not theirs. And they're going to be recognizing that some of you had never asked this person to access any information for you. And they're going to be recognizing that this person, whether man, woman, or child, have done this out of revenge, um, that sort of a situation. And they're going to be recognizing that this person is not the first time. So it could be your child's mother. They're going to be realizing the secrecy of this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, that this person is very, have a lot of secrets. And I see that they're going to be investigating this person and is going to be really taking down this person for what they have done because they're going to be recognizing that this person has been carrying and create and had a lot of secrets. So it could be your child mother for some of you, uh, mother or father. It could be your child. Um, it could be a friend or a partner, but they're going to be recognized that this person has a whole lot of secrets that you are not even aware of uh, and how this person has been creating a lot of issues. And it's not the first time that this person has access information that was not for them. And people are going to be recognizing that as we look at the second week, you're going to be successfully overcoming um, some sort of a financial hardship that some of you ladies, moon sign ladies was going through. Um, you have now back down, stand up and recognize uh, the hardship that was created and you're turning your back to it and you're looking forward and is trying to create some sort of a new stable and some sort of a new way of uh, creating a whole lot of wonderful happiness instead of the hardship that you were going through. In the third week, a corporation institution is going to be finding out um, something about a child and is going to be recognizing that a child um, was unfairly um, treated unfairly. OK, so it could be social service. A government institution is going to be recognizing that a child was treated unfairly. Whoever is this child and whatever has transpired, it could be school. Some of you could be having problems with the, um, the schoolmasters and headmistresses. Um, so we are seeing some sort of a problem with your child at school. Um, it could be some sort of a situation in a hospital because this is a huge corporation, huge, um, um, so it could be school, government, institutes, your organization, so, social service, that sort of a situation that they're going to be recognizing some sort of a false play that was created and they're going to be resolving the situation because they're recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. Then we are looking at the fourth week. The fourth week is a uh, um, I see you are having some sort of a new start. The fourth week, a lot of you are letting go of some sort of a relationship with a cancer. Um, the fourth week, a lot of you are deciding to leave a cancer behind, whether this cancer has, has created a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues around your financial situation, but also a whole lot of deceptive uh, play that this cancer was doing. And, um, you're going to be recognizing this and it's going to be um, bringing some sort of a balance to this situation and it's going to be taking back your power from this cancer and walking away from this cancer, moving forward in a very, very positive direction. And this is going to be good because what is transpiring is that you're recognizing that this cancer has been playing some real horrible game and 
has used you um, so badly that you are now recognizing it is better to end whatever collaboration that I had with a cancer because this person has been kept in secrets and has been sucking me dry of my financial situation and you are moving forward and leaving this person. So a lot of you could, um, moon people could be a cancer man that you're walking away from because this man, um, whether it's your father or a family member or a friend or a boss, you could be just walking away from this person and recognizing that this person, you know, find some sort of a way of uh, draining you mentally, physically, um, of uh, your energy and that sort of a thing. And you're going to be recognizing, yeah, it is better that I leave this person, the situation behind and move forward. So a lot of that is going to be coming out and a lot of that is going to be transpiring for you, Gemini. So um, it's you, Gemini, have to make your decision what you are going to be doing and what is going to be the, um, you know, your decision as how whether or not you're going to be taking this person along on your journey or you're going to be saying, listen, this is where it ends. I got it. Go, let it go and move forward. All righty, Gemini's. Wonderful reading. I do love this full moon reading for you, Gemini's. Please remember to like, share, and thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And help the video for other people to find this video. I do love you guys, but I gotta go. I am saying namaste. Until next time. Welcome, Librans. This is, of course, full moon of the year 2021. Let's look in and check in to see what is going to be coming up for you, Librans. So you see the energy of the sun sign, moon sign. So um, that is good. Please remember to like and share these videos so that um, other Librans are able um, to access these videos. So Librans, um, we look at the general energies and then we are going to be going in and looking at the sun sign and the moon sign. Okay, sorry, I'm just so a perfectionist. And um, all right, so Librans, what is happening? What is transpiring? What is coming up for you? Um, we see you begin with finding out some sort of a secrecy about a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Whoever this person is, um, is a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And I see the energy of the fool. Um, so you're coming in this full moon, finding out some sort of a secrecy um, is coming out about a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And you are ending, and what is transpiring is that you are going to be recognizing that this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person had some sort of a secret with a Leo. And they're going to be recognizing the connection between this Leo and this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And these people are between the age of 18 and 45, and they're going to be recognizing and um, be aware of what was happening. So I see the energy of the Libran is here and um, some sort of a problem. But what we're seeing is more of uh, um, some of you need to um, get up and start moving, get up and start moving. And I see the energy of the Eight of Swords. So the worries is going to be over for a lot of you. Whatever worries, truth is coming out and the worries is going to be over. And you liberants are going to be free um, to move forward because they have uh, recognized what has happened and transpired. And the secret that a fire sign person and a young the fire sign person, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn was doing and how they have created some sort of an issue. So, Librans, what is coming up in the first week? They have recognized uh, that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person in a company or in your home, it could be your sister or so, have done something. Some sort of a news, some sort of a letter is uh, coming in and you're going to be finding out that a Leo had took some sort of a letter and um, your enemy, they're going to be realizing who your enemy is. Some of you, your enemy could try to enter your house and they're going to be catching your enemy. I see a young person is coming back to apologize to some of you or some apology is coming um, to some of you liberals. 
um, or some of you Librans want to go back and apologize to someone. So we're going to be seeing you know, where that is going because I see a whole lot of uh, regrets, a whole lot of regrets that is coming up. They're going to be recognizing what was transpiring around you Librans because it was as if some sort of an illusionary thing was transpiring. Let's go look at the sun sign people. So what is coming up for you sun sign people is that a corporation institution is recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have access some sort of a data information and they're going to be recognizing this person. I see people at uh, your workplace could be, um, your boss could be really um, finding out stuff and information about this person. Whoever this person is, is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person between the age of 18 and 45. People in authority is recognizing and, um, and, and finding out that this person is not who they say they are. They have a lot of secrets and uh, this person has been playing um, double role and these um, authorities is onto this person and is finding out uh, this person's secrets. So uh, a resolution, a whole lot of information is coming out. Uh, they're recognizing and finding a whole lot of information and documentation that this uh, young person have. This person is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. They're, they're, they, they are so surprised. Uh, at the amount of information that this person have, and they're really, really going to be getting to the bottom of how this person came up with so much information, and they're going to be finding out a tower moment is coming down on a fire sign person. Whoever this fire sign person is, it's coming up as a Leo, but it could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Um, they're going to be recognizing that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person have given an Aries Leo or Sagittarius some sort of a documentation and they are going to be coming down and a tower moment is going to be coming in because they are going to be picking up these two people and these two people are going to be seeing some sort of good jail time for what they have done. So whoever is this Leo person, they're going to be recognizing that um, this Leo person has took a document that was not theirs and has took money that was not theirs. And they're going to be recognizing how this Leo person have done it, that this Leo person have got help from a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn to do it. So then I see the Knight of Wands and some of you um, recognize that you have an enemy and this enemy is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. So um, be aware of this. And I see that um, you men between the age of 18 and 45 could be catching your enemy. Your enemy is uh, um, coming up as uh, um, uh, a destructive man in a, um, a, a, it could be a police but, uh, or an investigator. But somehow, if you young men thought that someone was um, going in and out of your apartment, uh, um, you're going to be recognizing that it's true and you're going to be catching this first. It's as if your angels and guides is going to be setting a trap so you just unexpected to come home and catch this person in your apartment. So a lot of you men, especially Libran men, um, you are going to be catching your um, enemy because this person is going to be caught. Unexpectedly, you're going to be coming in and um, recognizing that this person is in your house and how they get in your house. So I see you're going to be catching and blocking your enemy, um, whoever this person is. So, so that is good. I see in the last week, a new start is going to be coming in. A lot of you, Libra, is going to be coming in and is going to be apologizing, whatever that was happening and transpiring. A lot of Librans, and uh, you're going to be receiving some sort of a um, new start. The worries is going to be over, especially Libran women from 45 years and older. You're going to be having some sort of a new start. And I see that you want to go back and apologize to someone for something that you have done because it's as if it sits on your heart. 
A lot of people are going to be recognizing that a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a huge double moment is coming down on them because um, people have now recognized that this person has been lying and has been using and accessing someone else's information. And they're going to be understanding and recognizing who this person is and what this person have done. We're moving on to the moon sign. So secrecy. As some sort of a secrecy is now out. So Librans, so I see um, some sort of a secrecy is now out. And finally, you Librans are going to be having some sort of a headway, leadway moving forward, receiving some sort of a new start, okay? I see you want to go back and apologize to someone. Um, some of you Librans has kept some sort of a information from someone. And I see, you know, the worries it it keeps you up at night because you you kept information from someone that you thought that this person should have have this information and you have kept it from this person and what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you are going to be recognizing that it's um it's about time that you um you know tell this person what was happening around them and you want to let this person know but you're afraid um that you might lose the friendship and i see that this is someone who has been always been there for you and um you recognize that you have gotten yourself in some sort of a situation that um you really want to apologize and uh, you know, this has keep you up. Um, and I see you are going to be finally saying, you know, I'm going to tell this person. So, you know, let the universe um, do the rest because I think I should tell this person because this is really keeping me up at night. Uh, but I see that it's going to be working out. Um, a huge government corporation institution have recognized um, the, the deceptiveness of some sort of uh, civil servants how a civil servants have been creating a whole lot of uh, deceptive play by um, falsifying documentation, um, people documentation. And they're, they, they are, are now going to be coming down on a civil servant um, because they recognize that the civil servant has been using their uh, um, uh, properties or using their business in order to sell travel documents and they're going to be recognizing who this person is and they're going to be bringing it to it in because they recognize um that this person is at the head of selling uh travel documents doc um uh, papers and um this international corporation is going to be recognizing that this is a person that has in accessing people information and selling it or creating new ones on using other people information and they're going to be recognizing what was happening. The King of Cups is here and the energy of the King of Cups so is that a lot of you, some sort of a news is going to be coming in um, from a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. Whoever this person is, is going to be advising you that some, that, um, some sort of a male um, some sort of a letter that you were supposed to receive is as if the letter didn't come in or they found out that a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius has taken this letter. So I see a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion is going to be recognizing that a letter was stolen and they're going to be finding it uh, that a Leo was the one who took this letter and is going to be returning this letter to you guys. So who is uh, this person? Who is this Leo? And that is what is going to be creating a tall moment for Leo because uh, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man is going to be recognizing that a Leo is the one that takes some sort of a letter or documentation that was supposed to come to you and they're going to be taking back this. So um at, as you go to the fourth week i see they're investigating a young taurus virgo or capricorn at the workplace or it could be your sister or it could be your partner whoever this person is this person is um a young taurus virgo or capricorn person um they recognize that this person have not uh, um been honest and uh, uh, whoever this person is and however this person is between the age of 18 and 45. 
and a um it could be your boss or it could be people in authority is recognizing the secrecy of this young person and what this person have been doing this person is no older than 45 years old they're now recognizing who this person is and what this person have been doing and how this person have been using and their powers in order to access information and documentation and i see they're going to be coming down on this person and taking this person down with their criminal organization okay liberance that was something wow liberance now congratulations you liberance because a whole lot has been happening and transpiring you liberance are definitely going to be getting out of some sort of a horrible situation that you got yourself in this is an absolutely um, beautiful reading because what is transpiring is that you liberants recognize that um you know, things had not gone the way that they should have. And a lot of you are worried, worried about how, um, you know, people are going to be looking at you if you keep some sort of a situation to yourself. But I see if you tell the person and apologize and let the person know what was happening, I see that they're going to be, you know, um, accepting you because they recognize that, um, you have been true to yourself. Secrets in a corporation institution is now out and they're finding out that their own uh, civil servants were the one who was selling and creating a whole lot of problem for other people. And I see um, a Pisces, um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion man in a corporation institution has been um, investigating and realized uh, uh, that um and some sort of a documentation was taken that was supposed to send to you and um uh, a situation with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person they're recognizing that this is a person that took it. All right, Librans, I gotta go. Namaste until next time.